Hello! Welcome to my channel. This is Jill from Paper Daisy Crafting. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you're all well and staying safe in these uncertain times. It's a bit strange to be living at the moment, is it? Who would have thought um, a couple of months ago that this was where we'd be? But anyway, um, I'm here today with another little project. Hopefully, if you've got to do, if you've got to isolate yourself or do social distancing, maybe this will just cheer up your day a little bit. This is my project today. It's a little Easter basket I made um, using the Jubilee Beauty dies. I'm going to show you them in a minute. But um, this is the basket I made. Isn't it pretty? It's such pretty lacy dies. Oh, one of my eggs has gone missing. And I've just filled it in with these little mini Easter egg, Easter, Easter egg hunt eggs um, in coordinating colours, lilac and green. Um, but you could make it in any colour you like. And today I'm going to show you how to make it and I'm going to make it in pink. I'm going to make it in flamingo pink. And so you need four pieces of cardstock to start with in the chosen color your chosen color and the measurements are for the sides you need two pieces that measure 4.7 by 20 centimeters so that's those two for the bottom you need a square which is 11 and a half centimeters square and for the handle you need one piece which measures 16 centimeters by one and a half um, let me just do those in inches. <gasps> I haven't got the measurement for inches. Oh, and I can't. I'll have to put them on my blog. So just watch out on my blog and I will put them on. If you go down below, there'll be a link to this project on my blog and you can look on there for the measurements. Right, OK, so that's what we need. And we need to do a little bit of scoring. For a change, I'm going to use my scoreboard. Quite often I use my trimmer to score these days. thought I'd dig my scoreboard out. And I've got on it, I'm going to work in um, centimetres today. So I've got my metric and board to put on top there it's a bit annoying that it doesn't have all the lines on i still find that a bit annoying but hey ho right okay so take your base the, the square and you're going to score that at one centimeter all the way round. so there there it's quite a while since i made this basket so i've got to try and remember how i did it i think this is right so what you will end up with is the base will measure nine and a half centimeters and you'll have a one a one centimeter border all the way around so that's the base and then if you take the two pieces for the sides and you need to score at one centimeter and you need to score at ten and a half centimeters and that should give you two panels that measure nine and a half and a one centimeter overlap so again one centimeter and ten and a half centimetre. Oh, it's quite nice to be using my scoreboard again. Right, there we go. Let's take that and put that away. Right, so then come in with your bone folder and just burnish all of those folds. Like so. And the other one. So there are different ways you could make the, the this part of the box of the basket but this is my preferred method and then just score all the way around here such a pretty little basket I, I love these dies when I saw them in the catalogue I knew I had to have them they go with just let me show you they go with this stamp set which is called birthday jubilee I love this little floral spray and I love this happy birthday um I bought it for those two stamps really this might be quite useful sometimes I think don't think I'll ever use these um sentiments but hey ho can't have everything but I was a, it was enough of a bargain for me for that flower spray and the happy birthday right that's done okay so what we're going to do first of all is we are going to I've just got to work out what I did here let me find the basket um okay yes I can see what I did right so what we're going to do honestly it's bad isn't it I made it quite a few days ago and I forget these days, honestly. Can't remember what I did. So we're going to cut at an angle, and at, cut the corners off like so. So this is going to be a learning curve for me. So you might have to bear with me while I go wrong, but I will get there in the end, I promise you. Right, that's it. So those are going to support the edges like that so that's going to go like that okay and what's going to happen is these are going to go round like this that one's going to fit in that corner oh look it fits exactly oh 
amazing right so we just need some glue now so we're going to put some glue along these and i have oh actually let's use the tombow let's find my tombow what did i do with it oh what did i do with my tombow it's gone oh how very odd should i put it in somewhere else no oh there it is on my desk had it out all, right, all along there we go so we're going to put some glue on here we are if it's going to work there we go and tombow on there and tombow on there and then we're going to glue one of the edges making sure we've got that right at the corner there round to there like so oh. we'll move a little bit while the glue's drying so make sure it doesn't move and come out of position you can push it down from here to make sure it's flat on the ground just give a bit of pressure to those edges and then we're going to do exactly the same with the other bit the other side and you just need to put a little bit of, oh, bit of glue under there and a bit of glue on there because that's where that's going to glue to so and then that's going to glue on there and then we just need a little bit of glue on this tab as well right I think I'm remembering how I made it there we go Okay, right, this one needs to go under there and that's stuck down already. So I'm just gonna tap that in there, there you go. Just have to release that a little bit. That's why it's good using Tombow because you can get a bit of room to do adjustments before it finally sticks. Why wouldn't that go in there now? There we go. Right, so a little bit fiddly. Like I say, there are other ways you can do this all with one piece of card, although um, you'd need a need 12 by 12, I think, because I don't think it would be big enough. You'd still need two pieces. Um, there we go. So that's the base of my basket. So that's the purple piece bit here. That's what we've done. And you've got quite a lot of edges there, but it doesn't matter because you're going to fill it with something so they won't be seen. Right, there we go. Right, then we're going to come in with the panels. Now the panels are these. They're cut. I've already die cut three. Um, and I just wanted to show you. So this is the, I put this through my die cutter. I put it through two or three times because it's quite a detailed die cut. So you might want to just put it through two or three times. And if it doesn't cut, just move it round and keep moving it. And so when you take it off, it won't come off absolutely cleanly. It's not, oh, it's not bad actually, that one. Most of the pieces have come out. What you need is one of our little die brushes. And then you can just get rid of all the pieces in your die really easily without a lot of bother so all the little bits out of the die turn it over to see yeah i think they're all out now and then you can also use the brush on your die cut to get the little pieces out of that and if there's any little malingering pieces that don't want to come out with that you can just come in uh, in with your pokey tool or your tweezers and just poke them out so i've done that on all four panels so it's a little bit time consuming but look how gorgeous they are right okay so let's just get rid of all these bits on my surface now that's the problem won't show you the floor of my craft room which needs hoovering almost every day when i've been doing a messy project like this right so these panels should fit fairly well onto each side of our basket so what we're going to do so I've got a cocktail stick, this is my preferred method, and some Tombow on a lid, um, on a, something plastic, so that it'll just peel off when it dries. And we're just gonna use this. I think this is the easiest way to just spread glue very thinly. But you could, you could use the nozzle of the Tombow and just go round. Um, you could use, or use a sponge. I've used, watched people using sponges, so they just dip the sponge in there and dab it on here. You don't need it to be all over, but you do need it to be on the edges and any bits that might stick out if you don't glue it down so there we go so that's my first panel so that's going again use the use the base to push it down and then that's on there that really nicely there we go right and we're just going to do the same with all three um, panels this was my entry into an easter blog hop joy of sets um, blog hop 
and if you want to see the all the other amazing easter projects if you go to my blog below there'll be a link to my post and then you can carry on hopping around the hop and there are some amazing easter projects there so if you're gearing up for easter that would be good i don't know what else we're all going to be doing if we've got to stay at home um so we're all going to be doing loads and loads of crafting so there we go. At least we've got crafting. I've got a friend who doesn't really have any hobbies, who is preparing herself to be driven mad because she doesn't actually know what she's going to do if she's forced to stay at home all day. And I really feel sorry for people like that. I was persuading her to try and crafting, but she's convinced that she's not a crafter and hasn't got any interest in it. Don't really understand people like that, but hey ho. Um, I'm so glad I've got my crafting to do because I know I won't ever be bored. I'll just keep crafting and carry on as they say um let's hope it's not going to be too long before we can beat this thing and all get back to normal there we go um probably like some of you that are watching i'm in one of the vulnerable categories so i do have to be a bit careful i've got reasons to be careful because of my health and the drugs i'm on and also reason to be careful because i'm in the age category with it is at risk so I am really hoping not to catch it, trying my best to stay isolated. The problem is I have two, two of my grown-up children and my husband who are still going out and about. I'm trying to isolate myself as much as possible, social distancing, keeping away. If I go out with friends, I'm, we're going for walks and not getting too close to each other. I've stopped going for coffee. I've stopped doing a lot of activities that I normally do. But then I come home, my children have been at work, they've been at the pub, they've been doing all sorts. So I do worry a bit that if I get it at all, it's going to be one of my family that's going to infect me. But there's nothing you can do. You just have to do your best, don't you? So there we go. There's our basket. Lovely. There we are. And then we need a handle. See how pretty this handle is. This is another one of the dies in the set. Where's my set gone? I'm going to show you. Oh, well, here's the die. Um, so here's the set and here are the dies. So you get the die that we used, which is this one. You also get another lacy one, which is this one. And it, it um, echoes the flower spray that we, I showed you. Got one that cuts out the flower spray and the little flower. And then we've got a couple of foliage ones and a couple of little like corner decor pieces. So some lovely dies in here. This is the one I used for the handle. So I just cut it out, lined it up twice on a piece of Whisper White and cut that out. And then I'm gonna mount it on a piece of Flirty Flamingo to finish my basket. So again, and I've just tried to um, curl this a little bit so that when I stick it down, it's going to be stuck in the right place. If you do it straight and then try and bend it, you may get into a few difficulties. So just curl it either with your bone folder, your scissors or just in your, I just did it with my fingers. Um, it's not hard to do. So again, a little bit of glue all on the back here. Um, oh, it must be lunchtime. My stomach's rumbling. Hope you can't hear that on camera. There we go. And lay that down. So like so. Be a little bit left at the edges. Oh, and because it's Tombow, of course you can line it up. So you just want to get it straight with the same border all the way along. There we go. And then bend it gradually so that it's all going to sit quite nicely. And then that is just going to glue there. To there and then that's that's the basket made and then we just need a little bit of decoration i'm just going to trim off that bit and put a blob of glue on here blob of glue on there like so and then just glue there and glue there there we go love to see some of the versions that are made if um, anybody else has a go at this um there we go lovely lovely right that's our basket but you can see on mine so you could leave it like this this is absolutely fine it's not a problem but if you wanted to do what i've done and make put some flowers on and um, back to the thoughtful blooms again anyone who follows me might be sick to death of thoughtful blooms because i have used it so much so i'm using this um stamp today and i'm going to stamp 
four each in three different colours. I'm going to use Flirty Flamingo, Daffodil Yellow and Howland Heather. So I'm going to start with Daffodil Yellow, that's the lightest one. There we go. Don't forget that we still have Celebration on and this is a stamp set that you can earn for free. If you spend £45, still in the still for sale. It hasn't sold out yet, but I've got a feeling it might not be very long. So don't leave it too long if you do want it. Just spend £45 in my shop and you can pop this in your basket for free. I need four. Can't count. I need there's four sides to a basket, isn't there? There we go. Um, so yeah, and there's lots of other goodies in there as well. If you don't like this stamp set, there are other things. There's some other stamp sets. There's also sets of dies that you have to spend slightly more for. There's also the adorable small bloom punch that we're going to use in a minute. Um, that needs a spend of £90, but um, it's lovely. It's such a lovely punch. I haven't regret regretted getting that punch at all. So if you've got enough, you know, if you can afford, I know you realise it's a lot of money to a lot of people. Um, but if you had a big order or could get together with friends and place an order for £90, you could get the small bloom punch. The good news is that it will be for sale um, after the celebration finishes, in the, I think, in the annual catalogue. So you could wait, you could buy the thoughtful blooms, which won't be available, and then you could um, buy buy the, the punch, which would be a cheaper way of doing it if there's not anything else you want in the catalogue. Hey-ho, right, OK, and just some flirty flamingo flowers as well oh, i can't get that to slide in i'm going to end up with it all over my fingers which is the usual um, there we go and then we're just going to punch these all out pop them on the side of the basket and then pop some gems on them there we go to work out how this goes there we go Right, that's all that stamping. Clean my stamp off on my chamois so that it's clean. There we go. And then here we go with my punch. My lovely, lovely small blooms punch. I love it so much. It's one thing I will never be getting rid of. I've always regretted I had the, was it the petite flower punch? Something like that. Um, and a matching set and I sold it in my early stamping up days because it had retired I sold it and I've always lived to regret that um, so this one I won't be selling I'm afraid so there we go there we go line them up Just, just line it up and it's so easy to do so much easier than using a die doing this these could have been done with a die but they would have been really fiddly imagine how many times you'd have to crank that handle through your big shot um, this is so much quicker and so much handier and as far as I know Stampin' Up! are really one of the only companies that really specialise in punches anymore Martha Stewart, I know, used to do quite a lot. I'm not quite sure whether they do so many anymore or whether they're even in business. I used Martha Stewart punches a lot before I started stamping up. Um, but I'm not even sure whether I haven't seen them for ages, not that I look very much. So maybe any of my American um, watchers could let me know. Is Martha still, Stewart still in business and do they do punches? They used to do a lot of border punches, I know. I used to buy quite a lot of border and round and ones that you could buy corners and borders to do all round a square or a rectangle I'm not sure they do that anymore so stamping up is one of the only places i think that do punches one of our usps right there we go there's all our flowers and all we're going to do is we're going to take a piece of foam and we're going to just raise them up a little bit. So I'm just going to take my embossing tool, if I can find it. There it is. So just and just emboss a little bit, just to raise those petals up like so. And then I'm going to glue these on and we will be done. There we go. Could 
done a few of these beforehand really and I've had to watch the whole process um, should have thought of that sorry right there we go yeah so I wonder which color scheme you prefer this flamingo pink is a bit of a I don't know whether I love it very much actually it's a bit of a bit, bit too bright we could do with it just being a couple of tones paler I think but it is the is the mid pink that we have in the range so I think we're sorely missing a nice pink I like the Rococo Rose of the new in colors though I think that's really nice right there we go and then just going to come in with my um royal peacock what are they called noble peacock noble um peacock um gems and i'm going to use the purple ones i'm going to put purple in the pink and pink in the yellow and then i'm going to put the green because i don't have a yellow one in the pink and so on so green goes in pink oh hang on i've put purple in pink as well no i'm gonna to have to put the green good job these don't stick too badly till you've till you've left them a while um oh come on i've left the sticky bit on there now there you go the green's gonna to have to go on the lilac otherwise i'm gonna end up with one set that has the same color on right so pink on yellow See, you get all warts and all in my videos. I don't ever edit anything out, so you will all see that. Um, I hope you don't feel I'm wasting too much of your time by making these errors, but you can see that it's not all perfect. A bit of trial and error sometimes. Right, and then just the purple ones. You can see I'm getting very short of these Noble Peacock pearls, so I am going to have to buy some more at some stage. There we go. There we are. And then all that's left to do is to pop these on. So I'll just use my glue up here. One on there. One on there. So one of each colour on each side. So the flirty flamingo I'm doing at the top and then the yellow to the left and the lilac to the right and they won't need much glue on them tiny bit of glue but just a little bit of drying time before you prime manhandle them too much uh, pink at the top the yellow to the left and purple to the right and then we've got one more one more um, side to do pink at the top and that's our basket done I hope you've enjoyed the project today I've loved making this I'm going to make a whole load more of these um, for friends and family because I think they're quite a nice little Easter gift it's quite inexpensive to buy these little um, Easter, Easter egg hunt eggs to go in them but they are very sweet so I can put some of these in here now instead of in the one where's the other one gone I had one other one that was lid under my table there we go there and that's my basket my pink basket and here's my lilac basket so i hope you like that project today i love it i'm really I, i'm not a 3d girl most of you know i only make cards normally but when i do have an idea for a 3d project usually i love it so hope you've enjoyed watching that do come back soon and see what i'm up to i will have more easter projects coming along but meanwhile thanks for watching and i'll see you soon bye